What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we have Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 9. I am super excited to continue this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut and early reactions. Let's hop right on into it. Demon Slayer, Episode 9 and 10. Alright, here we go. Continuing with Hotaru still polishing. Recuperating that rusty blade for Tanjiro. He's been watching some Kuroko no basket. He's in the zone right now. I mean, you want to talk about short limbs, you know? He did just right there. Your limbs are shorter. Disrespecting the grace and beauty of his art is the one way to actually push his buttons. Okay. Blood demon art, no hesitation. 10,000 gliding slime fish. Sixth form, just... Lunar Dispersing Mist? Oh my god. Lunar Dispersing Mist. Beautiful. Even the Fisher Poison? Of course. Transdermal Poison? I don't even know what that means. Oh, hold on. He just said, I'm an idiot. It can be absorbed through the skin. Which is scary in and of itself. Scattering Mist Splash. If there's something we can do to disperse the immediate air and toxins in our vicinity, it's whatever the fuck he just did. Wait, is that just like an empty fucking... Yeah, I was like, is that just an empty skin? Like a fucking condom? What is he, a snake? Snail? The third person? So he's more like a mermaid, or a merman, I should say. Mer demon. And he's got impenetrable diamond hard scales. Uh, not really a fish tail, so it's more like a snake. A sea snake. A, sne a sea serpent. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? Good reaction time. Wait. Wait, does everything he hit turns into fish? This is very interesting. Yeah, the spring-like tail would allow you to move so fast. He's not lying about that. But I... How does turning stuff into fresh fish, like, OP, you know? What? What? Whoa, why is he just talking shit? Ooh. Access and channel that inner rage. Dig deep. That's so dark and just disturbing. I just, I'm, I don't even want to imagine how long he was just laying there holding his, you know, on the verge of fainting, the maggots and that, like, how long before rot starts setting in? Then from there on out, he was training. But my body remembers. That's a bar, I can't lie. The fury will never leave me. I don't know why I'm mad, but my... Ooh, that's a bar. Just like that, he's seventh form. Obscuring clouds. Where did he go? He vanished. You've been officially obscured, my friend. It's like an after image. It's like a, the mist, the fog is so cool. <laughs> I love that. It's an, uh, a number of illusions. Mist, it lets you see shit. I love that. Tokito, Muichiro. Did that seriously just happen? Oh, don't, don't tell me. 
As soon, I'll believe it as soon as I start seeing him disintegrate. Put him out of his misery. Muichiro. Well handled. Oh. Fair enough, buddy. With the last little miss? Oh no, this is back in the day. Another flashback. I would say he's pretty unshakable right now. I just want to take a quick second. I don't want to pause, kill the vibe, kill the flow, but don't get me wrong. I loved everything that happened with Ru Rui. I had to remember his name for a second. Giyu. Everything that went down with Gutaru, Daki, and Tengen. But my man, Muichiro, just took down an upper six, number five specifically. By himself in one of the most gangster beautiful fashions I've seen my frustrations will disappear all my doubts Shouts out to the sun breathing technique okay Kotetsu huge shout out to whoever in the comments let me know first off huge shout out that Kotetsu is alive but uh, to let me know that Kotetsu was voiced by Hinata from Haikyuu. I hear it so much, you know. The hilt. Wow. Shout out to a uh, shout out to Master Rengoku. Oh, I love that. I mean, we knew he was gonna get on his. Oh, let me get a Muichiro Rengoku moment. That's all he needed to say. Did Muichiro just remember that? Pops, Mom, and Yuichiro. Is he gonna smile? Is he gonna be proud of him? Acknowledge him? Ooh, with the leaf falling right there? Ooh. Shout out, Muichiro, man. That's very touching. Muichiro and Yuichiro's story is just hit so hard just specifically because of uh Yuichiro and the uh, the, the whole story. We all know that. just cut back to more amazingness, why don't you? No, no breather for me, why not? It can extend even further. Tongue and tongue and tongue and tongue. What are those Russian dolls where it's just infinite? Not even like Naruto when he got swallowed or Luffy when he got swallowed. You don't have to worry about the acid or being digested. You gotta worry about being crushed. Purely crushed to death. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Mitsuri, Lady Mitsuri. Again, someone in the comments told me that her sword is more of a ribbon than a sword to, you know, match and appreciate her elegant form and her grace and gymnastry, all that shit. I don't even know what words I'm saying. Shout out Mitsuri. She's so graceful. <laughs> you did good, kid. Alright. I don't know why, but seeing her on screen just makes me smile. It just makes me happy. She has that presence. She has that presence, you know? He said that's an upper rank demon as if she cares. Look at her. Once you have love leading the way. Oh my god, the way she can just twirl the end and oh my the creativity and the choreography from like a, a ribbon or a whip style is so much different than a sword. I love it. Don't cut. Don't uh, Tell me why I forgot we were watching. That was so fast. Thank the Lord. That was so fast. Alright, just how last episode was Miss Hashira Muichiro. This one's the Love Hashira Mitsuri. So Cannot wait for it. Shameless Tramp. And that would be Sir Muzan. Damn. Now you've gone too far. I mean, looks wise. Yes, he's probably 100, 300 years old. Who knows? Love breathing. 
third form. Ooh. Ooh. At love shower. That was so elegant. Uh, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Now let me get her backstory as well. Love that term. How supple. It's flexible beyond belief. Didn't they say it was the chief who made it for her? Got the, the fan. The wind pressure and pushing. Second form now. Love pangs. Ooh. Oh, protecting Han Tangu in that little ball. Yeah, we gotta let her know that. Tell me this shot of the panning around it doesn't give you like Naruto Ultimate into Storm vibes when something crazy like that. Oh my god, I don't know why I just thought of that. Swaying love wild. I love how she can wrap it around the neck. Compressed sound waves. You want to talk about eardrums bursting? What was he expecting her to be a puddle of bones and blood? As it cuts right to her backstory, please don't let her die like this. I would be very upset after Muichiro. Because she shows, because she is so strong. What? What? Because of her hair? So I'm assuming the families are having interviews for marriage proposals. So what happened with her hair? That's a young her, right? Maybe that's a little sister? Oh no, that's her. <laughs> she wants to be strong just like her daddy. Oh, she does have a little... Oh, she did mention her little brother just a second ago. You know how strong you have to be as a 14-month-old child to pick up a stone that's... A pickling stone? 33 pounds? I'm like, yeah, this is a special baby. <laughs> Even the sumo wrestlers are like, damn, we have never seen someone put it away like this. It's like, it's like gone from Hunter x Hunter. You sure? This is a little child. Okay. So, I am curious about her hair color because does a hair color can it just naturally change through puberty from like black to a different color like that? Shout out, Dad. Trying to console her where he can, you know. But she wants that, you know. Dyed my hair black. Wow. Stifled my urge to eat and pretended to be weak. I would be too. I just want, I would want you to just live your own life, be yourself. The great transition back to where we are now with a bunch of people going out of their way, putting their bodies on the line to protect her, save her, help her, love her. She's our ray of hope. Couldn't have said better words. She is actually our ray of hope right now, for sure. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I love how Nezuko just looks up to her so much. <laughs> so does Tanjiro. I'm braced. Okay. I am braced. I am here. I like that. I like that. 
he just confirmed and affirmed everything she, you know, needs to hear. <laughs> yeah, she does have some great parents. And thankfully, fingers crossed, she, she doesn't have one of those crazy backstories where her whole family's dead, you know? She just wants to do great things and be loved. <laughs> Those are from Snake Boy? His name's Obanai, right? He's the one who gave her her signature socks? Hey. He's not even looking at her. He can't even look at her in the eye. Shouts out to Obanai. I think that's his name. Mr. Iguro. Iguro. However, this, you know. Shouts out to him. He's, I mean, okay. Mitsuri's about to go full out, not caring about who sees or does what, you know? Unleash all this unnaturally womanly strength. Yes, ma'am. I am here for it. Eat up my circulation. Get the blood pumping, that breath flowing. Is that a sun breathing mark? A lot like a demon's crest? I wonder what that signifies. I wonder if we're gonna need our new sword from Hotaru. Because that could be a. We couldn't cut off his neck earlier, you know. I wonder if that's gonna be a thing. Bite it? Hey, do what you gotta do, Genya. Mike Tyson would say the same thing. Got nothing you can do, bite it. Only temporary. That's where it comes from. And it increases his muscular strength. Very temporary. But the stronger he can consume, the stronger he gets. That was some strength right there. Inokami Kagura with Nezuko's blood. Flame dance. Ooh. I mean, there is only one episode left of the season. Maybe this is... Oh, he's not here. This sounds like when he was yelling at Akaza. Yeah, when he gets mad like this, starts saying stuff, you know it's gonna come true. Ooh. Is this a part of Hang Tangu's backstory? I've never once uttered a lie. A virtuous weakling. He said, I'm gonna pull a Kratos. I'm gonna pull this tree right out of the ground. If he does keep pulling a Kratos, he'll keep it as like a spear and start trucking forward. Or he's going to throw it. Or he's going to throw it. Well, those were two fantastic episodes. I am so glad we had episode 9, the Mist Hashira, Muichiro, Tokito, and then immediately into episode 10, the Love Hashira, Mitsuri Kenroji. It's so hard to remember everybody's names, but I also love the nice change of pace. Thank the Lord that Mitsuri's backstory is slightly different. She just wants to feel accepted, loved, and welcomed in her own skin. And because of her sleeper build, as the TikTok kids would say, and her innate strength with her gracefulness and her lovely womanly body, it's just not what a lot of people would expect. And I love, I love the master of the Demon Slayer core and how he helps each individual hash her out in, in a different way. And he's such a, such a good person. I need to know, I want to know his backstory very much so, but loving this so far, I'm... <sighs> Wichiro officially he, wait I'm just trying to picture we never really got Gyoko's backstory did we I'm very curious maybe we will I'm very curious about Hentangu's we got a little snippet of it right there he uh has lived a virtuous weakling his entire life never once uttered a lie but because of that no one is 
even with that being said, no one has still showed him sympathy. So because of that, he, I assume, lets his other emotions out and they take vengeance for him. So it's very interesting. I'm very curious. Loving this so far. Cannot wait to hop into this finale. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon for the full uncuts and early access. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.